Today we're going to look at simplifying expressions involving subtraction. I'm going to start off with a simple problem. We're going to be taking the negative or the opposite of x squared minus 3. We're going to take the opposite of everything in the parentheses. So I've got x squared minus 3. The opposite of that is negative x squared minus a negative 3. You subtracting a negative, that's the same thing as adding the positive. So I get negative x squared plus 3. So what if I had 7 minus the quantity negative 2x plus 3? Well, that would be 7 plus the opposite of negative 2x plus 3, or 7 plus 2x plus negative 3. At that point, we would combine like terms, and I would get 4 plus 2x. So far, so good. Now let's look at negative 2 times quantity 3n plus negative 5. And I could look at this in two ways. I could say 2 times everything in the parentheses, and then take the opposite of that. Or I could look at that as a negative 2, and use my distributive property and say negative 2 times 3n is negative 6n, and negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. So I get the answer negative 6n plus 10. Let's look at one more example. 3 plus x minus 2 times quantity x minus 5. At this point, it's really useful to remember that subtraction is the same thing as adding the opposite. So we could change this to 3 plus x plus negative 2 times the quantity x plus negative 5. To remove the parentheses, I'm going to be using my distributive property. So it's 3 plus x plus negative 2 times x, which is negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 5, which is positive 10. When I combine my like terms, I get negative x plus 13. Let's take a minute and relook at 7 minus the quantity negative 2x plus 3. I could have written a 1 in front of the parentheses, because if I multiply by 1, I haven't really changed anything. And then instead of saying subtracting 1, I could have said that's plus a negative 1, and distribute my negative 1 to both the negative 2x and the positive 3. And that would give me 7 plus 2x plus negative 3, just like before. It would then simplify to 4 plus 2x. So I can refer to subtraction as taking the opposite, or I could think of it as distributing negative to each piece behind the parentheses.